Okay, this is very similar to the craft stories worksheet we did about a week ago. And uh, we're just gonna try a few more of these problems. These are very important to be able to interpret a graph. So the first thing it's going to ask is, uh, it's looking for this graph and it wants to know at what time did it first reach 54 degrees? Well, notice the temperature is on the y-axis. So just kind of go to your y-axis where it's 54 degrees and then trace over. And the first place it hits 54 is there. It's actually the only place it hits 54. Drop down to your x-axis and you're finding out that it's somewhere between 6 a.m. and noon. If you count carefully, if that's 6, that'd be 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You are counting by 1, so that's 8 o'clock. So your answer should be 8 a.m., which I think to submit your answer, you're just going to type in an 8 in the box, and then you'll have the choice of a.m. or p.m. in the drop down. Be sure to do it as well. And we'll go ahead and try maybe a couple more of these. Okay, on this one, it um, showing snow on the ground. And it says, how much snow was on the ground when the storm started? Well, when the storm started, that means it's been snowing for exactly zero hours. So that means we're looking for an X value of zero right here. And if the X value is zero, the Y value is three. So that is three inches of snowfall. Hopefully this is giving you the idea of how to do one of these. We'll try at least one more from this section. Just kind of have to read and use common sense on these. Okay, uh, this is, it says how much snow at the ground when it stops snowing for the first time. Well, you can tell it's snowing because when it snows, the amount of snow on the ground is going up. So all this time here, it is snowing. And then all this time here, you're getting more snow. So it's snowing again. It wants to know how much there was when it stopped snowing the first time. So after the first set of snow right here, you would have this point here and the amount of snow on the ground is 13. The snow on the ground is on the y-axis. Now, if it would have asked how long did it snow the first time, the answer would be 12 hours because it snows from zero to 12. But um, it stopped snowing the first time after about uh, 12 hours, and then you have 13 inches of snow on the ground. They were really nice too to tell you inches because that lets you know you need to look at your y-axis, that is the inches. We'll try another one of these maybe. Each one of these is a little bit different. You just have to pay attention. Uh, this says, at what time did the temperature first reach 62 degrees? Well, once again, this is kind of like our first one. If the temperature is 62 degrees, we're going to go over. And the first place it hits 62 on the graph is right there. So I can drop down, and I believe I'm counting by one again. So that is dropping down straight. I'm just making sure I drop down straight. It was a crooked line, but I am straight down. And that is 8 o'clock again. So once again, you would do 8 a.m. for your answer. We'll try a couple from the other section. And these, uh, they're asking you to pick the best graph. So if a paper is folded in half, it's folded again and again. X is the number of folds. Y is the thickness of the paper. Well, each time you fold it, it should get thicker. So you need a graph that's going up. And the truth is, each time you fold it, it should get twice as thick. So the thickness is actually going to, initially, it's not going to change much. But as you go more and more, since it's doubling, it's not a linear rate. Because, the for, for example, just to show you, if you have a piece of paper that was maybe one millimeter thick, after your first fold, it would be two. Then when you fold it again, two plus two would be four. When you fold it again, four plus four would be eight. So the best answer is C. The thickness keeps increasing at a faster and faster rate, and C is the only one that's doing that. Let's um, try that, and uh, then we'll go on to another one. We'll see if we're right. Okay, good. Um, this one, it's hitting a golf ball. X is the time in seconds. Y is the height of the ball off the ground. Well, uh, what's going to happen is the ball initially is going to go up. The height will increase, and at some point, it'll start to decrease again. So A just looks like it jumps. So it's like being teleported or something. I don't really like A at all. Let's try some of these others. Uh, C makes it look like it's going to go up and down like a buoy. B looks a lot like what we talked about. D makes it look like it keeps going up forever, so the best answer should be B. Hopefully this will give you an idea of how you can think through these, and they